Hola muchachos, we are back to get Jimmy Johnson championship number eight and we are heading to a track where we should be able to win. Now you can see here, if we go to the calendar, we have not won in recent times. We are in a slump, 40th, 36th, 40th, and then second at Dover. We have to change it now. We need to get a win at Circuit of the Americas. Now this is going to be uh, very different compared to what we usually do because there will not be stages. We are turning stages off for this race. Reason is, there's no reason to have stages on uh, for a road course on this game. It is just not necessary. We know how the race is going to go. The AI are going to get into like a set line. And if you turn stages on, all it's going to do is, well, they're not going to pit. So you're just going to put the field back together. And then it actually makes it too easy on us, the players. So we're going to turn stages off and we're going to put the race length to 15%. It does not matter if it's 25%, like I said. Pit stops do not matter in this race. The field will get so spread out that it does not matter. Since it is Texas, we're going to make it a nice 90 degree day. Clear skies, beautiful scenes. Complex damage will be on, so you can't just run people off the damn racetrack. Uh, and yeah, let me make sure 15% there. Now, we are going to put some self implemented rules, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, the. Uh, the options you need to make sure it is on extreme difficulty uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that extreme dif difficulty everything else off except for track control on medium because obviously listen you need you need that in this game uh but we're going to have a self-imposed rule heading into turn one you are not allowed to take advantage of the ai and pass 15 of them before you get to turn one that will not be allowed you have to just go the same speed as the ai after you get out of turn one you are allowed to then go and pass as many guys as you want. That is a self-imposed rule on the GOAT uh, Jimmy Johnson. Eric Jones is in the playoffs, by the way. Uh, so we have eight drivers that have won a race and they're all locked in. We have 16 playoff points. Denny Hamlin also has 16 playoff points. Larson has 11. Kevin Harvick, Kyle Busch both have 12. So stages will not count here. So you're not gonna get a lot of playoff points. Whoever wins this race will get the playoff points. Uh, Denny Hamlin has 559 points while we have 299. So we're, at, we're getting absolutely just right now in the point standings it is very upsetting and very sad uh so let's go to the race we're obviously not going to be qualifying i'm going to run some practice laps because i haven't done laps of code in forever i want to give a shout out to all the patreon members as always Welcome for your support Austin, on the channel Texas. you guys Over are the absolute 12, best as goddamn the what's his goddamn name alex hayden keeps I'm talking alex hayden uh rob thank you so much for joining the patreon guys if you want to help support the channel directly anything, patreon is the best way to do it this appreciate you guys support let's go get the win obviously there's no previous winner because this race was introduced and in, introduced in 2021 let's go get the win at coda and get jimmy johnson win number four on the season which we need we need playoff points before we head into the actual playoffs because yeah it's it's, it's not going to go great if we don't have playoff points the most simplistic trophy of all time to be honest uh who is it it is matt de burrito every driver model in this game honestly looks the same i'm not gonna lie and of course it will not be a nascar 21 ignition video without disrespecting the national anthem and there we go tyler reddick is on pole with larson in second uh i see elliot is in fifth elliot's usually op at these damn racetracks uh, let's go get the job done, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's do this. All right, so like I said, self-imposed rule. We only have 10 laps. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought it'd be a little bit longer than that. 10 laps in this race, self-imposed rule. You cannot take advantage of the AI in turn one. So I will just simply wait. You can see how many cars we could literally pass in turn one. Like, do you guys see that? That's crazy. <laughs> I could have probably gotten up to 15. All right, waiting, still waiting, still waiting, still waiting. When are we allowed to go? All right, right now. We are allowed to go. We are allowed to go. Everyone go. Everyone go. Go, 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 go. That is the self-imposed rule. It is now free game. Get the hell out of my way, you prick. All right, through the S's. Here we go. They're going to go pretty slow through here. Excuse me. Got to take advantage on lap one. Uh, you know, the self-imposed rule was turn one, not lap one. So take advantage on lap one. Just scoot your way around here. Just scoot my way through. I'm uh, gonna wait there. All right, nice three easy through there. And uh, oh, 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 I'm gonna check up right there. Beautiful scenes. All right, right. Uh, yep, there we go. Just it's literally just I'm, I'm checking up so much. It's actually unbelievable. Uh, the leaders are all the way over there already, so we have a lot of work to do. Uh, I'm gonna dive bomb. Oh, okay. Uh, looks like Cody Ware just made up four spots by doing the same thing. Excuse me, that is not a corner cut. Oh, we might have a crash. No, we don't. Okay, never mind. We're all good. Uh, we are up to 29th. Let's go. We should get all four of these guys here. There we go. On the brakes. Nice and easy. Gotta make sure we don't get any damage. Remember, with comp complex damage, you really cannot afford any damage on a, on a road course. It will definitely ruin the car. So, 
Nice, and he's underneath Eric Jones. Eric Jones didn't see me. I, I dive bombed him. I'm going to push him off the racetrack because we are Jimmy Johnson. We do what we want. Never mind. He is okay. That was imp Okay, and you're going to stop right in front of me. Are you serious? Get the hell out of my way. All right, Eric is putting up a fight. All right, chill. Chill, man. Chill. Dude, let me go. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. I want to run this game review for the majority of this race. Good God. Okay. That was scary. Whoa, whoa. Austin Sin. No, that's not Austin Cindric. That's Brad Kozlowski in the two car. Uh, they're going. Okay. I can't see. Who's on my. Is anyone on my outside? I can't see. Is anyone on my outside? All right. There we go. I'm going to I'm gonna have to switch cameras a lot if I run in this camera review just because I need to be able to see what's going on around me at all times. Uh, I'm going to take it easy through here. Kozlowski, you need to actually hit the gas. I have no idea where he is. Oh, there he is. Yeah, it's really hard to get your peripherals in this view. <laughs> Holy crap. Not gonna lie, I'm not getting up through here as quickly as I kind of wanted to. We gotta really make up some time here if we want to win this race, which is the goal. Oh, stop the car, stop the car, stop the car. There we go. Beautiful. All right, nice few passes right there. Corey LaJoy is up next. We have now cracked the top 20, but we still have eight laps to go. So I would say we're doing, we're on a good pace. We are on a good... I don't know how fast Tyler Reddick and all those guys up there are. But we are on a good pace right now. Let's outbreak LaJoy. And that's going to be a little bit close. And we get him. Beautiful. It's all about being smooth here. This car is literally a tank. So, got it's not Formula 1. Oh, what the hell? Okay, where did Corey LaJoy come from? That scared me. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, we're fine. We're all good. I, Jesus. I, I want to run this camera view, but if I have no, like awareness at all of who the hell's around us it's not gonna go well oh boy oh boy yep okay i thought i could be really aggressive through there it did not really work i hopefully i don't get a penalty for this i did not okay <laughs> all right just back onto the racetrack okay this is uh this is getting this is tougher than i thought this is this is tougher than i thought i thought we would be able to fly through here but the simple matter is is that when you get when you catch them in the wrong areas of the track like the s's you can't really go anywhere. I'm trying to take a look. All right, they are pretty far ahead over there. This is why you don't freaking look. God damn it. No. Okay, I am screwing up. All right. Yeah, we... Okay. If we want to win this race, we got to be mistake-free from here on out. All right. Time to lock in. Lock in. Lock in. Come on. No. No, I'm not locked in. I'm not locked in. I'm making way too many mistakes. Uh -huh. An entire lap where I don't even make a single pass is it's just it's just not good enough. I can feel the wind slipping away already. Ah, <sighs> should have made it 25%. <laughs> Damn it, man. Oh, come on. I'm trying. The car is just so tight. It just is not rotating anywhere. So, get any sores here. And nope. Can't do anything there. But my worry is that the leader, wherever the leader is, is so far ahead now that. I am very worried I'm not going to get up there in time. All right, we go. Come on. That's as deep as I can drive it. And honestly, I thought I'd be making up a little bit more time. I just remember Coda being one of the easier racetracks. And uh, maybe it's easier when you take advantage in turn one, to be fair. When you don't take advantage in turn one on lap one, uh, it gets a little bit more difficult. I have to get through here. And I can go pretty fast through here, but then I, right here, I can't go anywhere. So I got to take advantage. Come on, go, go, go. I lose so much time in this area of the racetrack being stuck in traffic. So much time. There we got one pass made, but it gets you completely out of rhythm. Trying to get into the grass, basically. Cut back there. There we go. All right, beautiful. Now we got to get Hamlin. We got we got past. As soon as we have the opportunity, we got past these guys as soon as possible. So Hamlin, we're gonna get him. Bubba Wallace. That was risky. And we're not going to get him. We're going to be side by side. It's fine. Right. Get back here. Get back here. Don't. You're not going anywhere. Nope. Side draft. Side draft. You're not going anywhere. Don't worry. I'm not going to write your hook you like Austin Dillon. Don't worry. I'm not going to do that. Come on. Like, well, you've done it yourself, actually. So, yeah. No. Don't worry. I'm not going to do that. Uh, give me that spot. Nope. He's going to. Yep. He's good on the brakes. Okay. He's going to push me off the racetrack. Not really. That was actually quite fair. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Good battle. Good battle, Bubba. I respect you. I respect you. Good battle. Don't cross me over. Do not cross me over. I said don't cross me over. Don't do it. I'm blocking. Don't do it. Don't do it. Thank you. Don't. Don't. Listen, I'm struggling. Don't. Don't. Thank you. All right. Uh, 14. Come on. Uh, we're already, we're losing so much time, though. It's already lap four. Uh, the only good news is I'm going to get a clean shot at the S's this time around. So that's nice. So let's get through here and make up as much time as possible. Come on. One. 
two, hit the little turtle curve, three, and nice, keep the momentum up, come on, keep the momentum up, got a little bit too tight there, because dirty air is actually a thing, all right, come on, come on, just try to get, no, 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 don't drive, don't drive, just back up, back up, back up, back up, there we go, and get the run, all right, we got to get around Cold Custer right now. I think right now we're we are on pace to finish top five, but we're not on pace to win this race. We got a lot of traffic in front of us that we gotta get through very quickly. And uh, yeah, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys. I think right in front of us. Ew. Dirty air is such a bitch. Oh my god. Get underneath Austin Dillon, who's gonna be suspended hopefully. All right, get around him. No, no. God damn it! Why does that happen randomly? I lose so much time because of that. <laughs> I mean, but to be fair, we'll make it up in the S's, though. We'll make it up in the S's. All right. We are officially over halfway. We are on lap six. All right. Come on. We have to get this done. I have to win this race. Come on. Fly, fly, fly. Come on. Aggressive, aggressive. This is where we make up the time. Aggressive. Yeah. Come on. Uh, on the brakes, on the brakes, on the brakes. Good. There we go. There we go. Nice. Arc this. Nice, that's a complete corner cut. NASCAR, just look away, all right? You don't enforce rules anyways. Nice, another corner cut. Just look away, look away. Seven-time champion does what he wants. Come on, go, go, use up everything. All right, and cut through there. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. All right, that's another pass made. And I'm not gonna, I don't really want to, I don't want to. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna use up Bell. That actually worked. That helped. Thank you, Bell. Really appreciate that. You're a lifesaver. Okay, we are in 10th. All right, we got to at least minimum get top five, but, like, come on. We got to win. I got to win this race. Come on, come on, come on. We got one, two. I see four in front of us, so that'll get us to six. I don't really know where everyone else is. Careful. Don't spin coming out of the corner here. Just use it up. Just use it up. There we go. All right. Taking a look. I see some of the guys entering turn one. I think I saw maybe up to third. All right, so we're, we're getting closer. We are getting closer. We're almost there. Problem is we have four laps to go. And so we really got to be perfect from here on out. If we want any absolute chance of winning this race, got to be absolutely perfect. And that means finding a way to pass these guys through here so we, we don't lose time. One, two, maybe right here. Trying is just not a lot of space. Uh, nope, just losing time. Just losing time like this, just losing time. Get around him, get around him, get around him. There we go. All right, at least we get it clear of him quickly. Come on. But I've already lost all the momentum. Uh, all right. There we go. Full throttle it. All right, that's going to be another pass. That's Harvick. That should be done. Just don't overdrive it. Beautiful. And Byron Elliott up next. All right. Well, Elliott's all the way up there. We can see Byron. All right, let's go gonna catch him in the wrong spot i was hoping i could catch him before we get to the s's but nope we're gonna catch him in the s's so that means we're gonna have to make the move somewhere here so we're gonna have to plan this and uh i don't know we'll figure it out all right we're gonna catch him in about two seconds so here's the catch oh wait right there right there right there oh god oh my god almost wrecked myself you know what honestly it worked it worked. You can't penalize me because we got hooked. You saw it. You saw the contact in the right rear. So you cannot penalize us. All right, NASCAR, listen. Just keep swallowing your whistle. You've not, you're not seeing anything. Jimmy Johnson is just hes going to work, all right? So now we have clean racetrack. We have two and a half laps to get there. There they are. I don't know where Reddick is. I'm getting, That might be Reddick up there, but I can't really tell. So there's Elliot, and we see him. Kyle Busch is in front of him. Just get to them. We just got to get to them. This is going to be close. It depends on where Reddick is. If Reddick is like 10 seconds ahead, obviously we don't stand a chance. We should catch Elliott by the next lap, but then that's only going to be two to go. So, to be honest, it's not looking good for us. Even though I've tried. I've, you know, I've just made too many stupid mistakes. It's not looking good, bro. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. It's not going to be a race win. We are just way too far back and not catching at a quick enough rate, which uh, is a little bit unfortunate. I mean, we're definitely the fastest car on the racetrack, but unfortunately, it is just not good there. I just want to see how much time we can gain in a clean S's. With no, so you can see how far ahead they are now. And with nobody in front of us, let's just see how much time we gain. And this is a pretty good run through the S's section. And you can see, look how close Elliot already is. I mean, that's just a ridiculous amount gained. When we just have that clean racetrack. It is just getting through the traffic that hurts you. 
is get it through the trash. This was a 25% race. I think we would have won it. Uh, I think we would have won it because that's is that Larson or Reddick? I still can't tell. But uh, probably it's probably Larson. So Reddick is probably way further ahead. We'll see at the end of this race. You know the race results exactly how far ahead. But you can see we're not. These five, I knew these five were going to be the hard ones to catch. Elliot and these guys are always a lot faster. So I knew these were these are the ones I was worried about. And it looks like we might be able to get a top five, but uh, we're not winning this race, which makes me depressed because we need playoff points. But unfortunately, that is not going to happen. We'll just have to get the playoff points at other racetracks. All right, that's fine. Car is just too tight in the second half of the lap. I cannot get this thing to rotate whatsoever. So like this entire second half of the lap, you just... We're not going anywhere. We're just losing time. Not even losing time. We're just not going anywhere. We're not gaining time. So that's frustrating. White flag lap. So that means Reddick is not as far ahead as I thought. He's entering turn one right now. Damn it, man. Oh, all right. So, yep. We definitely could have won this race. Definitely, definitely, definitely could have won this race. That is extremely frustrating. Let's at least try to get Kyle Busch. Let, let's get him. We should be able to get Elliot. Let's just try to get Kyle. Bring it home in fourth. You know, that'll be a second place and a fourth place finish in the last two races. You know, consistency sometimes is all you need to win a championship. You know, not, not anymore technically in the modern day, but uh, it helps. You know, momentum. It's a real thing. All right, let's get up to Elliot. This is not a good run through the S's. I kind of messed that up. Uh, there we go. And through here. Uh, yeah, yeah, this car is so tight. Good lord. Just rotate, please. You damn 3,500 pound stock car. All right, come on. We gotta at least get to them before uh, before the second half of the lap starts, or else it's not gonna work out. Can I get them from back here? <laughs> I don't think I can. We're driving in pretty deep, though. Oh, okay, that is the deepest we've gone into this heavy braking left-hander. We make the corner, but we're not able to get underneath Elliot, and this is not the strength for us through here. This is not where we are good. I'm gonna try to lean on him. There we go, that worked. All right, now let's go ahead and try to catch Kyle Busch. It's probably not going to happen because I am just so terrible in this area of the racetrack. And yeah, we're too far back. It's going to be fifth. One last send? No, we're too... I'm not pulling an Austin Dillon. No, we're way, way, way too far back. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe if I just drove it in there and slammed him in the door, maybe. But no, it's not worth it. Fifth place at Coda. Eh. And we are only about, I would say five and a half seconds i think uh so yeah if we if we, this is a 25 percent race we would have won if, it was, if we had a few more laps oh no it was 8.5 seconds okay so man you know i mean but we came from so far back i mean look how look, the distance is 23 24 seconds back to 13th place 27 we were in this mess we got to 20th by the end of lap one i think it was and then from there we the between 20th and 10th is where we lost this race when i was trying to look and i made mistakes and stuff but even then 8.5 seconds if you if you take advantage of turn one yeah you probably make that all up but you know self self-imposed i didn't want to take advantage of the ai like that i thought it was fair you know what it should not be easy to win these races and uh you know tyler reddick wins oh boy the coca-cola 600 now that one will be very interesting with stages that's that's gonna be oh boy uh, i don't know we'll, we'll see how that goes it will be 25 it'll, it'll be 100 laps it'll be stages but uh the fact that we know you're gonna pit but when are people gonna pit are they gonna pit at the stage what would be stage three caution since this race has four stages oh boy i don't know how that's gonna go we're where how did i drop a spot oh because tyler reddick won of course tyler reddick wins yeah we just keep falling in the point standings so i'm uh, just absolutely ass a race we should have won unfortunate congratulations to reddick we will see you guys for the coke 600 that race is going to be something else to say the least on this game uh yeah that, that's oh boy take care of yourselves i will see you guys tomorrow peace out